What, what if the gun just goes click, click, click? What if it goes click, click, boom, and saliva starts playing? <laughs> <laughs> then we get a copyright strike on our Twitch channel. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, in use and force. Ah, I'm Ben. That's Jordan. That's Pedro. Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, what's up? What's new? I was played around earlier yesterday, and uh, we got a couple extra boxes in here that you don't see. You don't normally see on the show. You know, I have the main box for streaming, then I got a dome over here. But under this side, there are three little business PCs. And one of them is our Discord box. It's kind of a general purpose thing we use for after shows and, or for like track media, bring everybody in on Discord. Like, you know, you need an upgrade. I haven't did an update on you. And it's like, I'm just going to switch this box to testing to have one to live just a little bit. Like, I like that because I'm running testing on the DAW and Threadbooper. So I log, logged into it, SSH, powered on, that's that. When it app sources, put testing, hit app update. It got about three lines in, then it said, cannot authenticate. And I thought about what I did. Turns what out, did you do? that was Debian 10, not Debian <laughs> 11. So we learned a very important lesson, a very obvious lesson of, yeah, do not try to upgrade to testing from Debian 10. It, you will be met with immediate failure to the point of, you yeah, know what? We're just going to go find that USB drive with Debian 11 on it and we'll wipe this guy and bring it back. How about you, one Jordan's walking outside of uh, watching fences? Uh, what what it's like when fences fly? When when doves cry? Yeah, no, uh, it's been pretty pretty uneventful. Just working. I actually finished a project that I've been trying to fucking crunch on uh, for the past like month. Uh, so that that's that's nice to have gotten that out of the way and to a to a stable point. Now I can look at the all the exciting shit I've been neglecting, like upgrading this damn operating system. And uh, I oh I did install Debian on the on the on the NanoPi. How that, that oh did you uh, give up trying to put a Fedora on it? No no I wanted I wanted to see what the image format was like for ah. the installer. So like okay let's let's run it through one time and like see what the thing actually actually looks like. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I know what I need to do to boot Fedora on there. Uh, I don't know if it will successfully boot. Fortunately, fortunately, apparently there is a multitude of ways to boot that thing. So if I, if I brick it, I should, uh, shouldn't be too bad. All I'm hearing is like 12 months from now, you're going to be the maintainer of the, um, Fedora distribution. No, no, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to be like, I'm going to knock on Peter Robinson's door and be like, <laughs> yo, motherfucker, you thought you got rid of me a decade ago. I'm back, bitch. <laughs> Go with me if you want to boot. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Pedro, how are you? You don't have a cold? Or you had a cold, but it wasn't a cold. Uh, yeah, cold. a very, very minor cold. It's just I felt slightly off for a day. <laughs> how and could you even tell? did the COVID test or anything, uh, everything, because mostly because Nori suggested it. Uh, no, no, no such luck for me, I guess. <laughs> After all this time, I still haven't had the, the Rona, so I don't, I don't know what's up with that. No, I, I've just been... It's been very busy at work, and uh, basically all the free time that I have, I've been playing The Last Hero of Nostalgia. Thank you, kind stranger. You know who you are. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a very nice Souls-like, if you're into that type of thing. Is it the pixel bullshit game you keep posting pictures in Discord about? Uh, the, calling it pixel bullshit is kind of doing it a disservice, because... It's, it's, uh, it's, poly <laughs> it's polygonal bullshit. Uh. Polygonal bullshit. <laughs> Like, we're, that's we're, the thing. PS, uh, PS1, PS2. There's a mix of both because that ties into the story. It's like the world is degrading. It's becoming more pixelated. So there are some places that are like very high resolution 3D and others that it's completely 2D and you have to make so, yourself 2D to navigate. What I'm hearing is that if the final boss of this game is not a game of Pong, then it is complete and utter garbage. No, man. What you're seeing is the brilliance of turning um, budget constraints into game design, man. You got to respect yeah. it. And it's, I mean, it's I mean, very well done. It's, 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 it's a time honored tradition of doing <laughs> that, right? Like, look, look, look at look at the SSI Gold Box games. Yeah, you need <laughs> look to make at your all own the games map. that came out on the eight bit uh, console generation. It's yeah. Well, it's it's like that horse diagram, you know. It's like when you start yeah. with like whatever and what you what you have the budget for, but it's just like full of weasels, kind of like our horse. 
Yeah, I mean, I I, I don't know. I I think that 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 drawing of a horse in ten minutes with with the rapidly decreasing timer is now probably more horse like than the current state of the horse. It's the steam Linux, Linux. update of the week. All right, are are you ready to win a free Steam Deck? Because I sure as hell am, baby. Yeah, oh, so. you got to think about it. Because I mean, this is gonna be like. There, what what yeah okay. there, there we go a deck a minute they say is what they're going to be giving away during the game awards uh you can register for this uh they have, we have the links to all that in our show notes uh you got to log in with your steam account uh and yeah they're going to be uh giving away a steam deck a minute to anyone who is uh logged in and watching on steam.tv the game awards so uh, I, I added the reminder to my Google Calendar, uh, and I'm going to see if we can restream this, because I would really like to win a Steam Deck and not have to pay for it, because shit's expensive now these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, can we just take a moment and appreciate just how absolutely horrifying that uh, uh, is? If you register, are, 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 you get that as an emoticon in Steam. In, in, so so I, I have a question. Are, the, are those joysticks its hands or its nipples? I mean, you got to look yes. and find out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, They're hand both. nipples. <laughs> oh, my hand nipples. <laughs> How the giveaway works, you must register, enter the drawing by watching the Game Awards. All right. Yeah. Okay. Couple of rules. You need to be the, in the US, California, EU, or UK. Yes. Sounds good. California. Fair. Yes. That US. Yeah. California, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The, the US and California. <laughs> it's completely different. That's yeah. right. Two different places, man. Uh, you got to have a non limited Steam account in good standing. You have to have made a purchase on Steam in the past year, and you cannot be from a company that has sued Valve in federal court. Sorry, Australia. Australia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, uh, I, I'm totally going to watch it. I already have a Steam Deck, but if I get another one, I'm giving it to my little brother because he uh, very much enjoyed my Steam Deck when I, last I went to Portugal. So, yeah, you, you, second one's going to go for him. You're not going to do a ripoff of the loading ready run video where the guy's like, I have three PS3s. I have four PS4s. <laughs> There's no have, number at the end. Yeah. So I can't do the loading ready run bit. It's like, well, I have well, two so, Steam Deck twos. <laughs> but you can't have three because Valve doesn't go to three. Dude, I mean, you can put, you can put Windows on it for him. You can pre install Zeal OS on it. And see you how know that works. Yeah, I, I, I could put a number of things on it. Doesn't mean I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Dep- depends how much you really like your brother. That's, that's, that's I have absolutely nothing against my little brother. Uh, he's doing very well for himself lately. He's finally found a job, so very good job. <laughs> you hear that, Pedro's little brother? Challenge. <laughs> Gauntlet throw he's, down. He's coming for you. That's it, man. tonight. <sighs> Let's come for some of these top releases of 2020. Oh, yes. Uh, October 2022, the top new releases, which came out in December... We're not. There, there, to, uh, there are a couple months it. behind. You know, uh, yeah. you know, Valve's, <laughs> Valve is very new to this idea. Yeah, yeah, from. they're they're very very busy uh, preparing to give out a bunch of Steam decks apparently. But yeah, no, you can find the uh, October top twenty uh, of all games sold on Steam, which in no particular order comes with a Cosmeteer, Uncharted, Marauders, which is free to no, uh, no, it's not free to play. Uh, God, <laughs> Uh, Gotham Knights, yeah. Uh, Scorn, uh, Vampire Survivors, obviously. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah. curious about uh, Plague Tale, but not enough to buy it. So there's that. Yeah, no, not for that price. And uh, Torchlight <laughs> there, Infinite that, uh, show coming out. <laughs> Torchlight Infinite. I I forgot about that game because during the pre-beta, uh, the people who did get invited to it were like, "Oh God, this is full of microtransactions. This is predatory as fuck." So I completely put it out of my mind, and I do genuinely hope that it fails massively because fuck that and fuck what you're See, doing to the name Torchlight. <laughs> this th- this one Dragon Ball Breakers. I was really excited for it cuz I thought it was a really cool idea. And then I heard a bunch of the feedback and it's kind of poopy. Little little sad. Uh and uh there is there is one Linux game actually on this list. It is Victoria 3, which is a Paradox Games joint. So, you know, look if you if you're into Crusader Grand games. strategy. <laughs> I, actually um, no, this is this is uh, culture management. The uh, Vampire Survivors has a Linux beta. It does. Yes. The, the the Linux uh, native version is only in beta forever, permanently stuck. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, listen, you can't expect the developer to take a break from printing money. He's got gold-plated <laughs> <Yeah>. Lamborghinis <laughs> to buy, which I say good on him because 
you know, uh, this, uh, it was very much like a Flappy Birds. And it's like, this is a silly, dumb little game. But oh, everyone man, the, the, loves it. The, the, the Wordle dude who's just like, yeah, I made this as a fun little game for my wife. And the New York Times gave me $150 million. So. Well, you sold out. You're like, damn right I did. I yeah, mean, all, the, all the way to the fucking bank, right? baby. <laughs> we all get our that, price. That, that's, 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 a, that's one hell of a mortgage payment, man. That's, and that's sometimes... Sometimes that price is a turkey fryer because Valve has requested a Steam Deck user return the turkey fryer that it's sent. And yes, this is a real thing. This truly happened. A Steam Deck user was accidentally gifted a free turkey fryer by Valve. I love being able to say that. And, you know, what really happened is they, you know, kind of shipped up a prototype Steam Dip, you know, coming in Q4 2023. But mm. it, maybe a little bit of a shipping mix up maybe yeah so so the, the the wacky thing is someone actually are made the turkey fryer to valve originally and they were sending it back to the original dude but the labeling got fucked up so i i gotta wonder what other kitchen appliances of like a value have, have valve received is can they open up a little restaurant now do they have like a waffle iron and like a milkshake machine or like a fucking sous vide or what <laughs> there is no I, I issue of getting a love, free turkey fryer is an issue yeah <laughs> i genuinely love that uh, the fact that valve is finally coming to grips with having popular hardware that they need to ship out to people and all the shenanigans that come along with it love it <laughs> well you know they've had to deal with like fair and unfair type stuff you know because people were n just n yoinking those decks you know and like videos of, like fedex drivers and i'm just on FedEx because I know there's video evidence that like things just like nope I did yeah sure I delivered that no I didn't <laughs> yeah take a picture in front of the door and then uh, take it <laughs> going mm -hmm. run <sighs> the dog ate it have yeah. you have you ever won like the uh, run wrong delivery lotto ever because I haven't. no I run I I won the, I won the wrong air conditioning lotto you did turned out to be a brick but that was. <laughs> That, that was that was it, well yeah. that wasn't even a delivery you picked that up <laughs> mm -hmm. okay here's here's what i'm thinking uh, about yes. the, um, the <laughs> which makes it worse see i would have been in negotiations if i'd ordered a steam deck and or, this was like you sent the steam deck in to get returned they sent it back but i also got a turkey fryer uh i, I, I wouldn't have told anyone as long as i got my steam deck back but i'm like hey where's my steam deck and they're like well send us the turkey fryer back i'm like no but some might seem that no, cool. You know, yeah. I, I would, op I, I would <laughs> open up another ticket and be like, the Elden Ring performance on my Steam Deck is completely unacceptable, <laughs> and just like have it frying a turkey, <laughs> and just, just show a box of, of Elden Ring on the fryer. <laughs> <laughs> no, deep, deep, a deep fried copy of Elden Ring. Oh man, for like Xbox. <laughs> I, I I feel for the guy because the guy's sitting there going, didn't expect to write this. Um, yeah. Hey, you know, it's, it's one hell of a story, right? Right. And it, if you're going to be in one of those weird positions, like, I didn't get a Steam Deck. What did you get? A turkey fryer? Which is far enough <laughs> in left field to where you're like, all right, that sounds like psychotic. Can you but, take a yeah. picture of the label, please? <laughs> it's like, well, then it's like, well, shit, now I got to go buy a turkey. Like, I, I got this turkey fryer sitting around. I got to use it now. Right. So thank you for costing me money, Valve. I have to pay twenty dollars for a turkey. <laughs> Couple of new games this week, though, which is strange because we are definitely in the dry times pre-holiday. You know, nobody wants to release yeah. a game in December for sure. But uh, this this one is more of a uh, demo that got released. It's the first chapter, Memory Loss Chapter One, story-based shooter, uh, out for Linux right now. It's a top-down twin stick deal. Uh, has it? Yeah. So the first chapter is free, basically a demo. The Linux requirements are the Steam Deck, which is not completely unreasonable. I, I think more games should list the Steam Deck as their sole hardware requirement because then you know, fuck off, run it on a Steam Deck, and we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah. Uh, Ben, you, uh, you downloaded the, the first chapter and there's performance problems, right? I wouldn't say, I mean, this thing should run swimmingly. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. On the 3060, uh, it gets, uh, about 24, 25 FERPs at, uh, 2160p, but the controller worked. Uh -huh. uh, that, okay. Something at least worked. Yeah. No. I just looked at the, um, description, the little blurb that they have, and you have to possess the enemies and you only get one magazine of whatever weapon they happen to be using. So it's isometric messiah. 
I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it requires SteamOS 3.0, which is Arch-based, not to be confused with 3.0, which is Susie-based. Hannah, but, H- Hannah Montana yeah. Linux-based, obviously. Harch. It's a game it didn't. <laughs> there it, was the uh, whispers of a SteamOS 3 back when they were Debian-based, which mm. never came to pass. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I mean, graphically, it looked okay. You know, it looked like, you know, borderline like double A type game, but it was definitely one of those situations where you're like, you should be running a lot faster than you are to look like the way you do. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe it runs better on the deck. We got to get Pedro to test it out. Oh man. Uh, unless one of us, it is it. free. <laughs> Curse of eternity. Both. Of, well, Jordan, you seem to get a little bit interested in this, right? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know. When I, I I saw this hardcore action RPG, I'm like, okay. Then I saw Souls like in the one of the tags. I'm like, well, maybe Pedro would be interested in this. Make and build your own. Um, I okay. Well, what's new about this? Uh, so I I I don't I don't really know about that. Uh, it definitely gives me some World of Warcraft style uh uh. Flashbacks though, like th- those graphics are very wow. Like, uh, feet based multi classing though, that made my uh, D and D three point five four point uh, playing ears perk up. Um, I guess they're they're uh, the idea is like you start off as as a base class and then why you the can, fuck like, are you playing with a book on a stick? Because that's how that's how you get people to learn, man. You you gotta smack <laughs> them with some knowledge. You could get a book on a stick, man. I mean, if you want to keep them away, you put poo on a stick. I mean, am I learn, wrong? Pedro? Is, that, is that not a book on a stick? Book? <laughs> it is okay. but why have a staff and the spell book as two separate things when you can have both in one <laughs> yeah you can like plant it in the ground and like read and have your hands free to like cast your magic and shit it makes perfect sense uh yeah, yeah feet based multi-classing though so like i guess you start off with like a class and you can specialize or you can dip into like some of the other classes abilities okay and, like, did you say feet based Feet, yeah. So that's a. It's like a. It's a D and D ism. It's okay, like a. Well, uh, I'm just trying to help uh, out. An, 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 addi- an additional feature. ability. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When you say feet yeah. based anything, I'm like, is that some bullshit fetish? Like what? <laughs> Something I wouldn't. I, I would not so, so, readily type so, into Google image search. Feet based. Actually, anything. actually, it's uh, it's not it's not feature, uh, Pedro. It's feet as in like a feet as in a deed. Uh, that's that's the original of like oh, the, okay. the three point five feet. Uh, but I mean, it could they could be in feature based multiclassing in this context. But I I don't know. I just know about the original. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like wow, sixteen ninety nine, fifteen percent off. What what do you think, Pedro? Is it is it is it worth a Dark Souls or two? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, the graphics, yes, they look like what you'd get from uh, just getting basic stuff in Unity working. However, uh, the uh, developers, I make the games, that, that's what they call themselves, they sent us some keys. They only sent us the one key on Curator Connect, and then I pointed out, I was like, uh, we're going to need two more, please. And they sent uh, the other two, so thank you very much. Uh, are, are, you, um, are you sure it's not, not, it's not Imakita? It could be Imakita or whatever, but it, it's I make the games. <laughs> seems a little too uh coincidental for it not to be that <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, I i think i think you're just being one racist. of the things i'm taking a look at is uh, a really fine point on the additional notes with the gnome desktop environment running on top of x11 windowing system with official nvidia drivers and they're like yeah it probably works on amd drivers too yeah. uh, they said specifically we only tested on ubuntu so there you go <laughs> yeah all right hey. I, I mean to, to be to be fair a lot of the Linux system requirements are just like, yeah, Linux 2.0, whatever, right? Like, this this guy actually included some details, so that that should be appreciated at least, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> an attempt was made. Maybe it's fun. I haven't had a chance to play around with it, but uh, yeah, you're right, Jordan. With this, uh, really getting some vibes from the Mega Drive. Yeah, hold, hold me closer, Jet Dancer. This is uh, Jet Dancer on Steam. You can pick it up for about fifteen forty nine Canadian, so what, like eleven bucks US? Uh, and yeah, it's it's a uh, side scrolling uh, beat 'em up with a fairly apparently a fairly fluid combat system and a pretty interesting difficulty scaling mechanic. Where um, I was hoping they were going to have a dance off, but they didn't. They fought. No, <laughs> they, they, they really didn't. Um, yeah, uh, but the adaptive difficulty options are stuff like uh, giving you more power ups if you the more damage you take and um, letting you buy up. Upgrades at like the game over screen. So 
I don't I don't know. Um uh, the, there's like two reviews. One of them seems like it's pretty solid. Um, the other one says that the controls make no sense. So I'm I'm <laughs> not sure. I can def- I can what I can tell you is that it definitely look it definitely looks like a Genesis game. Is it the size of a Genesis game? It requires a gigabyte of space, so maybe not. No, that that would be a big ass cartridge. Uh, and the thing that jumped out at me was one of the screenshots. There's like clunge shot of the main character, and she's wow. wearing fishnets clunge? on just. Clunge, yes. Uh, I'm going to need you to Urban Dictionary that one. Uh, and okay. okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, no, she's got fishnets on just the top of her legs. And it looks like either the pubic hair situation got a little out of hand or she was doing the hair removal and got to that point and said, you know what? Just fuck it. <laughs> no one wants to see Pedro's pubes. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 do you against, what do you have against hairy women, Pedro? Uh, absolutely nothing. It's just the fishnets uh, just there. It looks like the hair situation got a real weird Pedro's just at to the say top it of the legs. It looks like Sigourney Weaver before the uh, airbrushing. And <laughs> yeah, before, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With their crazy bush. Each to their own. This next thing was so like, Pedro was so excited about it. He like went into the show notes and put it in there. I did, no, I just got the uh, press um, email uh, and went, oh, yeah, that's probably a thing we should talk about. Though the thing that immediately jumped out at me was there's no Linux version, which is naughty. But yeah, Amnesia Debunker is coming out in March 2023. And it it is very much in the true um, so frictional you got a press email, of, you said, right? Yes. Did you write him back and say, so you guys really saw Linux? I did, but I didn't get a uh, reply yet. Ah. So, yeah. The, um, yeah, and they have no uh, listing on it. And I think there was someone asking about it on Twitter and they didn't get a reply either. So, uh, but yeah. The, it's uh, in true frictional uh, fashion. It is a first person horror, um, survival, uh, survival horror crawl, type, crawl of situ- game. type of game. Yeah. And, the big difference with this one is um, there's some random elements. Uh, they they specifically say that um, the each playthrough is going to be different, and the way that the bunker is laid out is going to be uh, randomized, and you're free to tackle things in a um, multitude of different ways. You can choose what to do first, and they claim that they've also improved on the frictional touch everything, manipulate all the physics objects, do all the things everywhere. So that's been improved. I very much look forward to what you can get up to with that. That 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 looks interesting. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I'm looking at that and it's a frictional game. Even even when the Chinese room took a crack at frictional games, it's that game <laughs> again. Um with but, less furniture. Well you do have a gun. So that my first thought was like, is that going to be any more useful than the pickaxe and the original amnesia, which gave you all that false hope. You're like, all right, I can, I can handle these doges now, but I have this pickaxe <laughs> and, um, play around with it. it but we didn't, ha- you don't have any type of weapons outside of that one game. Do you? Not really. No, uh, no uh, not really. Penumbra, Penumbra was the one game that they had like the weird physics combat that yeah. you had to drag the mouse to attack. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, this one is the first one with a gun. I don't, I, I think they're, they're, they're making an interesting move with like a more <laughs> open ended, uh, amnesia. I think it's a neat idea, but I wonder how much of, I wonder how that like will meet in praxis, right? Cause there's going to be, there's probably going to be a lot of like groping around in very dark rooms, trying to find that one thing you missed because like you walk past the one piece of information, the one time, like the, the the one letter or whatever tells you where the pu- solution to the puzzle actually is. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, if, if that's randomly generated every time, I imagine there is going to be many runs of people just like, where the fuck am I? What am I <laughs> supposed to do? So if, if they're, that's a really, it's going to really test if their uh, puzzle design is as open as they say it is. And I wonder if the whole, uh, we have a gun and it's survival horror. So it's just going to be uh frictional's version of alien isolation. Probably. 
<laughs> I, I think it's going to be more of a puzzle tool than anything you're going to... Yeah, it's because the gun is just going to be used to scare away whatever entity is chasing or, you around. Or, or you got to, like, shoot yeah, something shoot at the, the end of the castle. Yeah, shoot the thing to get it to drop so you can get yeah. the thing to resolve the yeah. puzzle. Oh, what if you yeah. cap, cap him, like, right between the eyes first thing, he's just thought dead. All right, then he goes... <laughs> Then it wouldn't be a very scary Quite game. No, 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 then it, then it turns out that the gun has been the real monster this entire time, yes. and it just eats you. The gun turns around, just game over. No, 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 no. Again. Like the, the gun just like unpeels like a fucking banana and swallows you whole, like the end of fucking Raised by Wolves season two. Mm, spoilers. Uh, what what if the gun just goes click click click? What if it goes click click boom and saliva starts playing? <laughs> Then we get a copyright strike on our Twitch channel. Probably. <laughs> oh, man. Game End updates. Cy- yeah, End Cycle. We covered this. This was uh, the game that was kind of not really ba- Mega Man Battle Network, but had a lot of the same vibes. Uh, they got a new patch out with some new Vox, a.k.a. the power-ups that you can uh, utilize. Uh, they, have a, they have a snack machine now. They got... Uh, the they've they've upgraded the sofa as well. The sofa had an ability that was kind of useless, so now the couch can uh, do can ignore uh, environment hazards. Uh, a bunch more stuff. Um, it's in the patch notes. The links to all of this is in our show notes. But uh, with all this new content comes a tournament uh, that's starting on December 11th to try and horribly abuse all of this new stuff. So if you're uh, if you're into uh, N Cycle, you should definitely check that out. As memes, you get to fight with vending machines instead of against them. Okay. Good job. <laughs> well, I mean, I want to be a level three snacker. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a level yeah. five snacker. It's it's not <laughs> worth it. <sighs> I you, mean, you, you I just didn't, get just get to level two. I didn't hate this game. I just didn't really understand how to play it as well. You know, it's one of those like I, you watch other people play it, and you're like, man, they're good at that. And then you try, and you're like, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, it, it is, there's it is a, a lot very, of it's real time strategy. That's what it is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff to keep in mind because mm-hmm. there's all of the different abilities and all of the different Vox vocations uh, have different skills, and they start with like different presets and then different yeah, factions. You, you, you have, can join uh, different factions in the middle of a run, and they switch some of your skills around. It's like. I I don't have enough space in my brain. No, you, uh, mind, you, you can actually yeah. like build the decks out too. So like you can pick a character yep. and then like have a completely custom layout for them. So yeah. that's pretty dope. I mean, it does have online PVP, land PVP, uh, co-op, land co-op, but you do got to remember, I, I think we even brought on the touched on this when this initial initially released is it's also got a price tag on a bread. A little bit. Yeah. 30 yes. bucks. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> keep that in. Mine, it's, I mean, it's a completely well done game. It just wasn't yeah. my, necessarily my jam. How many reviews? 63 reviews, so people are playing it. It might be worth picking up, taking a look at. <laughs> Pedro, uh, why, why do we have uh, this retro game? Um, <laughs> Perhaps the biggest news of the week, because if you didn't hear that... Uh, Team Fortress 2 got an update. Uh, that's because you probably heard something about VScript. Nope. What the hell's a VScript? No idea. I Yeah, the, the, uh, I had to do some technical reading. They actually have the links. If you go to the um, announcement where the update is, you can find all the technical info about VScript and everything. There's a couple of links there. Uh, but yeah, it, it if you say like to create maps, that's the one of the things that they mention. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 and CSGO are already using vScript, so you can just use vScript for Team Fortress 2 now, which gives, apparently, gives uh, modders and uh, the community... The Completely tool. wrong message. I thought that was underwear and I wanted to buy it. Um, <laughs> it I mean, it, it, you, you, can still, you can still buy the underwear. Tool. Now they yeah. don't have a check. No, no underwear. <laughs> that All that right. totally looks like a cod piece. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I wanted that. Let, let me see that. Though. So, like, easier modding sounds like a nice touch to help read life into your dying game. Sounds like a smart move Valve might do. I wonder if this will make the bot problem worse though, because like that game is already kind of split wide open, giving mm. people more stuff to do via via the the SDK, like. It, it, it could it could also fix the bot problem by giving you like more sophisticated tools to deal with stuff. Well, but, it, yeah, each yeah, individual it, server hosts the tools to just nip that at the bud. 
but like that but that's <laughs> that double edged sword right like now that now that this tech is out there it can also be abused by malicious folks so i don't know Valve, I watched a talk with um, Valve security engineer, and Team Fortress 2 is one of the things that they use to uh, test and develop their AI anti-cheat, mm. which, you know, is why I said Valve's got a lot to learn about AI. But the bot problem's always been bad enough in Team Fortress 2, where it is a escalated war of other bot makers making bots to fight the bad bots. Yes, the, the counter bots. Yeah. And then the counter counter bots and then the counter 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 bots. <laughs> this is how Skynet <laughs> begins, ladies and gentlemen. Like yeah. But hey TF2. It, it's free to play. Maybe you want to go play. I, I did you ever get into DF2? Not really, no. Le, I, I was more into Left 4 Dead. Mm. Uh, I, I played a lot of uh Counter Strike Source. But I mentioned my little brother earlier. He's got thousands of hours in Team Fortress 2. <laughs> I, I, I occasionally still get an offer. Someone's like, you have a Bill's hat. I want it. Like, um, I mean, we got our, <laughs> like our little penguin things. I played a lot of Quake World back in the day, which, you know, was that whole, the whole premise of Team Fortress 2. Same thing with like the build classes and all that. But yeah, I just never got into Team Fortress 2. I guess I, we need a lot of people to play it though, don't we? Not really, but like we, we need, we need more than we usually. Yeah. We if we don't play with after. randos, like how, yeah. how many's on a team? I think you Six, can do. I think you do like four v four. Depends on the maps. Okay. Yeah, I I, th- I think you can even scale down to three v three. But like, we still need six people, really. All right. Who wants to be the healer? Me. I will do it. You can shoot everybody with love. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got to be nice to me for a change. Coming up next, we're talking about some new AMD drivers, some new Intel drivers, because they're kind of the same thing, and blinky lights, but not for Valorant players. Secure blinky lights. Enough pondering the time-traveling shenanigans that got us here to this point right now, two weeks ago, because it's, it's time all, for the it's news. It's all like fucking fun and games until we wake up tomorrow and it's 2012 Listen, and we're like, I, <laughs> I was walking down the street just having to think when a snake of a guy gave me an evil wink. <laughs> and it was 2012. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, don't worry. This doesn't make sense to anyone involved. <laughs> uh, if you want more context, you should absolutely watch us live at some point. Oh, no. But, Pedro, uh, <laughs> if you want this to make sense, you need a TARDIS. <laughs> well, if you want us to make sense, you can pay us money. <laughs> I mean, there's also that. We could, we could, if you pay us money, we can explain it to you. You can do that by heading on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Add a little note that says, please explain this joke to me. Don't specify what joke. <laughs> We'll know. We'll know which one Just a specifically. joke in general, baby. Indeed. Uh, but yeah, getting access to our Discord gets you some cool stuff. You can get into our, or our Patreon anyways. You can get into our Discord, uh, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. While you're in our Discord, you can hang out with us. You can RSVP to game streams. I do Borderlands on Thursdays. Uh, probably not this Thursday, though. And Ven does Track Media on Tuesdays and What are we doing Fridays. this Thursday, probably? Hopefully, we're, we're, <laughs> we're uh, winning some Steam decks um, at the Game Awards. Oh, man. We're getting wrecked with decks. Oh man, indeed. Uh, well, you can uh, buy your way onto the show if you want. You can get your name in the credits. All sorts of stuff listed on the Patreon page. I believe you can read, and if not, well, I, I got hope for you one day. We got a store, <laughs> storealixgamecast.com. Uh, you can buy some coffee cups. You can buy some t-shirts. You can fill your coffee cups and tote bags with mayonnaise and carry them around town and confuse the hell out of people. Uh, or you can just buy some t-shirts and wear them and, you know, not freeze to death this cold, frigid winter. Uh Oh, there was oh, yeah. a price update on the EU version of the um, Lonely Penguin because I wasn't charging enough, apparently. Oh, the demand oh. is too high. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, you know, that, that penguin is so lonely. You got to, you know, warm it, has been warm it up back up the to the breaking even point because, yeah. All right. Thanks for uh, wearing we, our merch. Indeed. <laughs> yes. uh, we got, uh, we got a, uh, we got, uh, which, uh, or, or, yeah, which yes. zone? We're getting that. Uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Mouse over the support button. I have one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. You can buy stuff off of them. I want to build a ARM-powered Kubernetes cluster because I am fucking nuts. Those NVMe drives shot up in price. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, what, what, does, what does Pedro want? Pedro wants Nothing. to hold his monitors high <laughs> and to remember things. And Ven just wants to be green. Uh, uh, we you got, know we, Pedro's got more green shit than I do, do I? Th- th- does he? I think uh, he does. Let's see. No, All right, let's count, count the greens. One. 
All just right. one. Right, what, 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 one. One green thing. All right. <laughs> two green. Right. One, two. That's it. Two green. Right. Yeah, That's two, it. two green. All right. Turns out I was right. Oh, we got some you need a kind of yellow thing. thing. I have a yellow thing. Because I got a blue thing and Pedro's got a green thing. And we're going to make some weird porn with this. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's got a, yeah. No, I, I need to uh, break it down a, into something we, 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 we I, might I need call a, I need a pixel. A, I, need a, I need a green thing so we can have like RGB, RGB Linux Gamecast. Yeah. Uh, we got we to thank, uh, we got a, a bunch of people to thank. Mr. Foxdog sent me Norman, bleh, 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 bleh. Norman Reedus and his creepy fetus, Demonstered Edition. I can speak English, goddammit. Um, he's going to have to sit with me through the entire playthrough of Death Stranding if he wants me to play it, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hit, hit me up, Foxy. I'm going to thank Basil for a 35-month resub. That is a lot of months that's coming up on uh, three years. Yeah. 36 25, months. I can do 24. That's about it. 30, 30 yeah, th 40, 36. Yeah, 36 yeah, would sure. be uh, would be three years. So you're kind of getting up on there. Uh, Artharin sent Pedro some stuff. I don't know. No. Send no, 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 send, for send, send you some send that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you know I'm building the Steam Rectangle. Which is going to be Jordan's replacement box, but we're going to use it for a bunch of different things, up to and including the track Mania, which we do on Tuesdays and Fridays. Come join us for that. All that information is filthy.lenixemcast.com if you need a new crippling addiction in your life. Bunch of fun people to hang out with, but that fell out. Um, almost. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it, though. Uh, this is the first component to the Steam Rectangle, which is going to be a mini ATX, micro ATX case, but I wanted something in this form factor because uh, it would fit under the TAM desk. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be streaming this. This is going to be an interesting build, entertaining, because there's just so many things to go wrong. Looking like what? Uh, well, you know, first of all, this came with a power supply, so I have no idea if that works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still got to get the motherboard, and I think all I need now is the motherboard and CPU, then we'll be able to plug this thing in. This is one of those things where I just need to go ahead and get everything, because you want to do it within that, like, 60-day window. Right. And Yes. Uh, <laughs> Pedro's got more experience building, like, thermal note boxes like these than I do. But Does it have a cutout where the CPU would be? Uh, on the side panel. <laughs> Fuck all idea. I just opened the box to bring it in here. <laughs> hey, look, it's got little feet, feet on it though. So are, there's are, are, are you going to make them uneven? Just like uh, your new interface. You know what? <laughs> I might steal them and put them on the uh, control service, but oh. uh, we're going to work out a system to kind of stick this thing together live on air. And uh, you'll want to tune into that. Like even if Pedro was putting together a small form factor PC, I'm like, I don't give a shit. It's Pedro building computer, but I'm going to show up to provide um, my expert opinion on every single thing he does. Like I'm sure you guys will. Um, <laughs> More thermal paste. More <laughs> thermal paste. <laughs> to show up and tell me what I'm doing wrong, which. Yeah. Oh, well, we got uh, one more person we got to thank as well. Skittles, Alex, just 31, that guy. Sure. The, the, yes. The one guy who, in the in-between segment, said that his butt keeps eating up Speedos. So, uh, what are we going to thank him for? It's better than Cheetos? Uh, Patreon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Too fitty on Patreon. Too fitty. Thank you very sure much. <laughs> very, very nice. Well, thanks a lot for all that. Right. Thanks, thanks to all of the people for uh, supporting this for ten long ass years of Linux gaming content. We were talking about what would happen if we uh, went back in time to 2012. Oh no, you gave it away. Our marketing. Oh, <laughs> oh no, our our secret our secret marketing. Now now I'll have to go back in time and kill myself. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what we need. <laughs> fucking primer on this shit, right? Yeah, right. Like let's. <laughs> Let's just like create all the paradoxes where we're doing it live. Other Jordan uh, crawls out of the fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, man. And and then like another Jordan just walks through that door and shoots him. Be like, you won't be. Like, okay, okay. And then another Jordan shows up behind him and garrots him, and it's just like my entire house just gets filled with an infinite number of time traveling Jordans until like it all just gets crushed into a fleshy pile. Speaking of fleshy piles, let's talk about Mesa drivers. All right. Um, yeah, so there's a new Mesa release out, uh, 22.3.0. Uh, it comes with some pretty neat stuff. Uh, a bunch of new, um, Vulcan extensions are uh, added to LLVM pipe. Um, we got some improved, uh, op uh, OpenCL, uh, support for, uh, uh, for Rust. Uh, if you want to get that 
playing or if you want to compile that play around with it you do need to get some additional rust dependencies sorted out as well also better support for intel ray tracing you need libclc for that and Natalie driver updates as i I don't, I don't want to reach over there and knock a bunch of shit over, but I got that <laughs> NanoPi that has a Mali GPU in it, Ooh. and I would really like to see some uh, GPU performance improvements. But I found out I, I was I was doing some reading into this. the The hardware accelerated like 4K, 8K decode. That's all on the Rock chip. That's not on the Mali GPU. So you need a you need a patched uh, libav for that. Yeah, shit gets a little uh, squirrely yeah. when you're dealing with SBCs, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah a, li- a little bit. Yeah, um, no, it's very good to see Mali drivers getting some updates because as someone who's been uh, trying to get away from the proprietary or semi-proprietary ones for the Pinebook Pro, it'd be very nice to have everything in Mesa. Really nice. Pedro Mateus, I see that this has support for RDNA 3, so can we tell the people at home that it's going to be safe to run out and buy the AMD GPUs? Initial. <laughs> Initial RDNA 3 support, and no. No, no, no. It, it absolutely does not guarantee that your 7900XX Sephiroth XTX will the, the, uh, the, work the properly on release. Yeah. From XFX? <laughs> it's not, uh, probably not going to work in the first month. Now I Maybe really we'll want be one of the new and- Intel cards just so I give it a red paint job. Just fuck with them, <laughs> just like co- covered like in that. red, no, just covered in like red nail polish, and just like <laughs> crudely write AMD on the side. Unless, of course, you want to be Rules a uh, one. yeah, those, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you want to be the one. early adopter and you want to help the fine, fine Mesa folks test the uh, the new RDNA three stuff, by all means, get one of the new uh, up and coming AMD GPUs and help them. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm I'm certainly looking at buying one of those myself. The, the hardware accelerated AV one, the whole ridiculous amounts of VRAM, but you know, still uh, got still got to play the waiting game. Just gotta wait, just gotta wait. Yep. But it's a good time. I mean, maybe you, they'll release one for like nine ninety eight. Yeah, nine ninety seven. <laughs> Oh, man. So needs needs more blinky lights though, right? Everyone knows that I'm a huge fan of RGB. Anything that blinks, man, I want it near me so I can crush it under my heavy, heavy boot. Not a big fan of it, but maybe you are. Maybe you are, and there's no official apps. This is something I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. And they're like, I want to make this blink, I want this blink because you got RGB in your uh, AIO, you got them in your fans, you might have them on your RAM, and like if you're a masochist. You might just have it on your motherboard, right? Like they come with them now. This is a hundred percent true. Supply. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, you can't, you know, if you're new to Linux, what do you do? You could just go to, they don't have the apps and you can't run it in one. Yes, I've been asked this. No, you need something that is really cool. And it's a great program called OpenRGB. And they got a new version out with a couple of nice little quality of life upgrades that I was very happy to see. Uh, but the one that got just, Made me okay. What is oh translation support? That's interesting. I love this. They had to switch in pout 32 to ring zero low level access library because uh, it's a great library, but Valorant's garbage anti cheat attacks it while it's fine with ring zero. That, that's fine though, isn't it? No problem. Yeah, uh, the, as it turns out, their uh, stupid rootkit that works in Ring Zero in Windows uses WinRing Zero itself, so uh, it couldn't attack it even if it wanted to. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it being a bit shit's not exactly new. Dude, look at all the new <laughs> stuff in software. this latest version. Uh, a bunch of stuff from ASUS, EVGA, you know, GPUs we're basically seeing here. But not uh, Mystic the, Light the controllers, laugh. Logitech. Oh, yeah, your gerbils, right? might NZXC. be the last evga gpus they're going to support though that's sad it's the yeah. end of an era yeah. rocat uh cooler master a bunch of new devices and i can confirm that both the rocat and the dual sense uh modifications that they've done do actually work given you know the oh, rocat shit. keyboard and the dual sense <laughs> the the arc a770 works now in direct mode so Ooh. Mm-hmm. direct no, mode cool. only so you can't have any of the fancy ones <laughs> Pedro, I do want to ask you this, though, because they do have a big warning booga booga. Like, this is a direct hardware access done to reverse engineering. It may cause your RGB controller to break out of your PC, kick down your back door, and run off screaming <laughs> into the night. Is that a valid concern? Best case scenario in the event that something goes wrong, you just lose control of your RGB for that running session. Then you just power off the controller and you leave it powered off for a while to but let what, it clear whatever internal cache what? it has and turn it back on. But what? 
what if you've programmed an RGB pattern that will hypnotize you? So now the RB, RGB control program is in control of you. What happens then? <laughs> Don't you always want to call it RBGs? RB- I mean, th- then you have to be someone who has to be susceptible to hypnotism. And uh, if you are one of those people, I don't think you're worried about that. Pedro, Pedro, <laughs> no, 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 Pedro, 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 Pedro. Pedro. If you are one of those people, give us all your money. Uh, <laughs> what? What if you happen to be an amphibian who's into gaming? Oh, uh, I need. I, I'm going to need a toad, <laughs> some LSD, and some RGB LEDs. That's when the drugs come out, baby. I got these RGBs for a reason. Um, oh man. <laughs> Sim City, SimCraft. So, I I love this shit where you take something out of a one video game and you put it in an entirely different fucking video game. This is nuts. This is uh, Mind City Two Thousand. That's not porn for once. It is not porn no. for once. Um, but it allows you to export entire cities that you built in SimCity Two Thousand and import them into Minecraft, where you can then just walk around them in Minecraft, which is pretty fucking neat. Uh, here, 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 here's the thing. Back when like people were preaching about like the metaverse and how this was gonna like take over everything and how you could like bring your game shit from one game to another, look how much effort is required to make one thing, take one thing out of one game and drop it into another. So that pipe dream was a complete nutter fucking pipe dream, but we still get freaking cool shit like this where you just build up your city in SimCity and import it. I, this is sort of like map cross loading stuff. I would love to see it in like other things. I would love to see like your Sim City be playable in Dark Souls or Elden Ring or something. That would be dope as hell. Yeah, I actually have proper maps being imported from one game to the other. Not just necessarily the maps, but models that you could create one big imagine the um Ready Player One style of overworld where you go into all the different instances with all the different games. I'd love me some of that. I'd love me some of that very much. <laughs> I think really the only issue with this is this isn't C sharp. So building it under Linux, I mean, there's a bunch of .NET stuff in there, right? So y- yes, th- this is this is actually yeah. one of these weird things I had to look into for work. So now I, I <laughs> now I need to learn how to do this. And I think you could just build it with if if it's built in .NET Core, you can build it with .NET Core. Otherwise, you got to use Mono. Uh, yeah, and if you'll need a bit of luck if uh, Visual Studio Code, because it has a couple of SLN build files there. Uh, so yeah, Visual Studio on that one. Uh, does does VS Code do SLNs, uh, or is that just VS proper? Very good question. I don't know. <laughs> mm. I think it might be VS proper, but I could be wrong because awesome. I've, I've used VS code for six months. <laughs> I was reading through, I felt this on Hacker News and the developer came back at it and he's like, uh, you should be able to get things to compile. I didn't get that deep. And he said, the only thing that probably won't is there's a GUI for it. Mm. But he so he's like, I just made that for Windows users. Couple of things do not work <laughs> though. If you want to build a highway with underwater pipes filled with subways, you're going to have a tough time. At the current stage, not all buildings are supported, so uh, keep that keep that in mind when generating this. Or if you know how to get it b- to build, hook us up. I mean, yeah, write that down somewhere, uh, preferably like in the issue tracker on the GitHub page, so we can all um. Okay, or, or, net or four a- that he recommends. So you should be okay with um, mono. Mm. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Captain Blood Q four yar bitches hundred <laughs> percent. No description, website, or topics provided, so you know this is going to be a good one. What is it? This is the full source code for the engine a Captain Blood game, which, man, they didn't spend much money on that title. All of it is a hack and slash action adventure. Uh, that was canceled, man. This thing was supposed to come out on, um, what was it, Xbox? Xbox? Yeah. Like 2007, 2006, somewhere in there. And here's just the code dump it showed up uh one cc wolf studio under the direction they just killed it they killed it like nope yep. it's not coming out and i thought it was going to be some dinky little game but i mean this looks better than curse the ravens cry ever thought about being huh? yeah yeah it looks a lot like um uh, that that one that got re-released what's it called <laughs> i can't remember the name um was it a pirate game no, no, the, the the one that got funded by some state, and then uh, it kind of got panned on release, and then they re-released the remaster. Kingdoms of Amalur? That's what those graphics remind me of. Blam, uh, very blam. Kingdoms of Amalur-ish. 
All right. With a little um, bit of oblivion on the backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, the uh the uh the 1.0 apparently did get leaked. So if you if you do want to take this for a spin, you will actually need the game files. So uh you're going to have to pirate down that to stuff. the local video store. This, <laughs> yes. Uh, watching the trailer which is a bit rough from back in the day uh, from 2010 it looks like a brawler man so yeah like it kind of gives me some uh, god of war vibes like og god of war um mm-hmm. yeah but it would be really cool if this game can get necromanced back from the dead it would be more incentive for studios to dump their old code on github <gasps> so it can be preserved dude yes yeah, I mean, you, you don't even need to do jack shit. Dump the code. Everyone else will fucking do the work. The for community you. is just gonna go. Oh, we'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> and that's gotta suck too, because when, when I first saw like the post, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like another point. I'm like, oh no, this is a fleshed out game. And like a lot of like man hours, human hours, uh, went into this business, and that's gotta suck to put this much work into something that only to have the powers that be show up and just go fuck off. Yeah, it, it was done. They had the the 1.0 version. Apparently, they'd already sent it to a validation for a release on the Xbox, mm-hmm. and then the order from on high said, "Nope, cancel it." I, I like. I, really? I, wonder, I wonder how many of these games like exist in a state like this, where like with a little bit of love, you could probably like get them running on a modern system. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Links to this will be in the show notes. Get on it. We'd love to see it. Um, controllers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Specifically, a controller you can DIY from the ground up, or almost. Uh, it's uh, from Input Labs. They, they're they creating the alpaca, not the one that Carl. spits at you. <laughs> Carl. But yeah, it is, um, it's a controller. It only has one um, analog stick. It's on the left side. On the right side, it's got a little scroll wheel. It's and got a uh, fucking scroll wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And a couple of extra buttons down the sides and everything. I Um, want that in the marketing. It's got a fucking scroll wheel. (laughs) It's got a fucking... Listen, listen, I I, I had to do a double take. I'm like... Because I didn't didn't realize that at first until I I saw, like, no other analog stick. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that's fucking scroll wheel. It has, has like, a little... um, It has a little D-pad for everything else. Because apparently the the idea is this is an entirely gyro-driven controller. Um and you can you can use like the the your hand motion to do your aiming and then you can use the fucking scroll wheel to min- do minor adjustments <laughs> up and down as as you need yeah and it is mostly uh like the software is completely open they uh open source the firmware the hardware is some of it you can print yourself you can create your own uh pcbs or you can 3d print them using uh conductive filament Yes, they have a recommendation for the type of conductive filament that you should be using. Uh, And the microcontroller is a Pi Pico. So I I honestly would not mind getting a hand on one of the press samples. I did shoot him an email, did not get a reply. So uh, we'll Well, see. It's it's not not feature complete yet. They still have a couple things on the go, like uh, wireless and The features that are there are great. (laughs) But but Again. don't don't you want your three D printed controller to vibrate uncontrollably and lose yes. little pieces of it? Not really. And the wireless it'd be nice to have, but not a necessity. And the built in profiles, this mouse can store like seven different profiles, and I don't fucking use them, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, okay, you do need the Pipeco. That's borderline unobtainium. But I mean, you get the STL files, so you can you know in the Blender files and print this right out. Uh, what type of filament? Uh, PLA. All right. Or conductive bolts and nuts developer kit. Somebody get Pedro a 3D printer. <laughs> I, that's the thing. I'd love to have a 3D printer, but I have uh-huh. nowhere to fucking put it. Yeah, we so. just got to get rid of something. We'll get rid of a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, throw, throw out that, that guitar. Yeah, it's not. No one's doing anything with it. That's not mine. <laughs> Pedro, can I interest you in a ceiling mounted 3D printer? L- l- listen, Pedro, you can 3D printer a new guitar. <laughs> that's one way to persuade Nari. Yes. <laughs> hey man listen i mean it could have a scroll wheel on it <laughs> yeah in, in, instead of instead of machine heads it has a scroll wheel to do the fucking <laughs> fuck whammy bars we got a scroll wheel yeah uh, and then they start selling like sound um producing pla <laughs> okay jordan i got a question for you since uh, uh maybe you do pedro since we have the scroll wheel on the controller do we put a clutch on that bitch like logitech does <laughs> absolutely yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. do the click 
<laughs> the unlockable <laughs> scroll wheel. My God. All right. All right. Coming up next, we're shooting polygons and exploding uh, at very, very small resolutions. We're throwing chairs at Starfighter Renegade. This isn't a hot tub. This is the chair quisition. Full where we take games. I mean, sure, Pedro's got some, uh, but yeah, you can you can get naked, slide on in, and uh, watch us uh, run a bunch, of, run, run a game on uh, three different Linux distributions with some pretty different hardware underneath, and we'll give it a final score based on lawn chairs. One chair means that it's not very sexy, and four chairs means that you know you might be willing to experiment in this hot tub. Uh, let's give it a shot. This week we're taking a look at Starfighter Renegade, done on uh, the Unity engine, developed by Made of Dinosaurs. You can pick it up for about eleven ninety nine US. What does it fly into battle across multiple bite sized levels of exciting three D aerial combat? Do your focus do or do you focus on taking on out the alien fighters or rescue the stranded Wee. inhabitants before they're abducted? What about the deadly terraforming virus sweeping the surface below? Uh, we gotta thank Made of Dinosaurs for sending us some keys on Curator Connect. So let's get into it on the Deb Wins. How's it work? I, I'm just watching Pedro. I was like, uh, I just Wee. get this feeling that Pedro's like, oh, I can do a roll now. Because I had that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 found, I found the roll button too. Indeed. Yeah. Tell, us, uh, tell us about it, Ben. No, I'll take my time. Ladies and gentlemen, over here on Debian testing, bookworm, goodness, 1920x, 3060. Power that box of business through two gigatools of RAM and some NVMe drives somewhere in the mix, man. 35. Gentlemen, 35 is the number I want to bring to your attention because it took 35 well aimed clicks. Well aimed clicks. It took that MIDI to get from 2160p to 1080p in the fuck mothering menu because it keeps jumping around with every click. Do it with a controller if it didn't work way ahead of you. Wasn't very happy about that. However, this is a good reason. This is the second game in recent memory that I can think of has done. This is why we use drop down menus for resolutions or at the very least apply buttons. So your screen's not jumping around. People are trying to set your resolutions because there's a lot of number digits between those two. Now, there's also no V-Sync, but there's a 30 FPS option. Curious, curious choice, because it was fun watching the 3060 go absolutely full tilt, winding up the fans just to display this uh, graphical juggernaut at 2160p. Not really. It's got a soundtrack. It's kind of crunchy. It's kind of beep boop. Nothing against it. I mean, it works. And uh, Xbox out of the box, the uh, Series S controller, no issues. But let's talk about the fun because you can just fuck right off with whatever the hell that bonus stage thing is, man. Between levels, you, you don't want to become the Star Child, then? This Doctor Who fever dream thing going on. You know what? Just give me an option to skip it because I'm just—it's it's a mixture of like, what the hell is this? I don't care. And um, yeah, okay. Let's just that out of the way. I need, I need to say Starfighter Renegade, it's serviceable. How about that? Huh? Were you expecting that? I mean, it's 100% a love letter to the uh, shooty pew pew 3D games of the 90s, which I happen to be of that vintage. I remember this this game effectively with this terrain because, you know, as speaking of the terrain, there's even that attempt to reproduce that hipster pixel poly we didn't have 3d and, and, and 64 era type thing uh yeah 95 96 somewhere in there but i mean this game i mean it's bare bones you got guns you got missiles you got boost and you could do a spin you know apply a pew pew to the baddies collect some peeps if you want and drop them off at the base of that notion you know strikes you outside of that you get the upgrades you wash you rinse and you repeat and the AI is definitely in the 90s, man. It's 90s level smart. So like cheesing the hell out of it doesn't require a lot of work. And that's kind of important since you get this missile recharge, like every few minutes, you can fly back to your base, fly back through the beam. Once you do that, I, me, I just fly back out. I boop three baddies with the missiles, pew a couple around while I'm waiting for the recharge, rinse and repeat. And it says exhilarating combat on the Steam store page. I wouldn't use exhilarating really to describe the combat in this. It's uh, again serviceable, and for eleven ninety nine, you might be looking for just a little bit more than serviceable in your hipster polygon shooter. However, it does function. It's got a lot of rough edges on it, but I can give it to maybe not run out and buy it. I'd like to see a demo on this. I think would do a lot of good. How about you, Jordan? 
Oh man, I saw Pedro struggling with that upgrade selection screen, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not the only one. Anyways, on Fedora 35, 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, launches out of the box at 1024 by 768 in a little window. Gotta cycle through all those resolutions one at a time, like Ven mentioned. Also, oh, by the way, there's an option in the menu called like Play Xylopsis or something, or Xylophone or something. I've so it takes you, with that, yeah. Yeah, 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 it takes you to a Space Invaders style arcade game that you can't seem to escape without actually quitting the game. Uh, which, by the way, has completely different fire control than the rest of the game, which made no sense. And I, but I digress. Controls, they worked out of the box, kind of, sort of. They're very, very ins- sensitive on Steam Input. If you turn off Steam Input and just use the DualShock 4, it works better. Um, there are no prompts, so um, ex- except for in the... Um, except for in the... Um, control or select screen. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh... The controls are also very sensitive with keyboard and mouse. I actually kind of like the soundtrack here. I thought they did a decent job. That was like the the one thing that I'm like, oh, it's kind of funky. I'm into it. Fun-wise, yeah, it's slippery fighter combat. Also, like, the guns have smart bullets. Because, like, as long as your reticule is red, your regular bullets will just hone in on people. Um, there are missiles, too. Uh, they miss often enough to fuck you over uh, just when you start to think they're reliable. Uh, and it's, it's kind of frenetic. It's okay. All the pews kind of look the same. So for me, my problem was, like, all of the all of the pew pews, I kept getting uh, smacked from the side uh, while I'm doing this jousting, doing the fighter jousting, which they actually do a fun little um, risk-reward mechanic where if you win a game of chicken with an enemy, then you basically get a full heal, assuming you don't get, like, crossfire to death. Uh, there's also, yeah, like I said, the loadout... There's a loadout mechanism. I couldn't fucking get it to work. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Uh, Most of the stuff is mostly new pew pews. And yeah, this thing, if you're watching the video version, you're seeing it, is the Sonic 2 style like minigame in between levels where you're at warp speed and things are happening at such a fucking frenetic speed that you can't tell what the fuck is going on. Um, Background is completely seizure-tastic. So like, yeah, I, 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 I don't even know. Here's the thing. Elvis it's, didn't do no drugs. Right. <laughs> this, 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 listen, if, you, if you've if you never tried drugs before and you want to see what a bad drip is like, play this game. I, I don't know. It's There's nothing like offensively terrible about it, but there's definitely a lot of technical issues. And for $11.99 US, you, you, there's better ways you can spend that money. Maybe if it was like three or four bucks, I could give this a wreck. But like as, as it stands, it's just, Okay, but it's on like the the downside of okay. I'll give it two chairs. Pedro, it's the spicy boy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this game committed one too many cardinal sins, which I will uh, attempt to describe. So bear with me. Uh, over here on Nobara Thirty Six, it launched out of the box in a teeny tiny window on the desktop. On the Steam Deck, it was properly proportioned, and Game Scope just automatically full screens the thing. So n- no cocking it up there. Uh, it creates the what I've taken to calling the stupid little little folder TM in your home directory. So minus one chair right off the bat. Uh, on the desktop, I made the mistake of clicking the uh, button to enable full screen in the options. Why is that a mistake, you ask? Well, because the game crashes if you try to start it in full screen. Uh, After deleting the uh, stupid little folder and the Unity prefs file, I was able to start the game again back at the teeny tiny window and just set it manually to the resolution that I wanted and then just use KWIN to full screen it and then it seemed to behave. Um, Then I made the assumption that, hey, they have a little uh, controller rebinding, re- remapping option in the options menu as well. They couldn't have possibly cocked that one up. Did it? Yep. Can't remap controls, at least not the keyboard ones. Um, I didn't even try the mouse ones, but the controller uh, inputs, you can actually rebind those. Not the keyboard ones. That's. Mm-hmm. And it's stuck on WAST, so minus one share there. Uh, Speaking of controller inputs, it seems to completely ignore Steam input unless you're using the Steam Deck or an X input controller, your Xboxes and your X clones and whatnot. Uh, the DualShock 4 and the DualSense in Bluetooth mode, you can't turn left or right. That's right. <laughs> that, 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 that's a new one. Uh, and they said uh, in the email that when they sent us keys is... Okay, we only tested this on the Steam Deck, so I decided, you know what, let's actually play this on the Steam Deck, see what's up. I was able to replicate every single one of the issues that I described up to this point. If you tick the uh, box to make it full screen on the Steam Deck, it starts crashing, and then you have to drop into desktop mode, delete the uh, 
stupid little folder and the prefs file. And then uh, if you try to pair an external controller like the dual sense uh, via Bluetooth, you get the exact same issue. Can't turn left or right. Uh, it, the only option to limit the frame rate in game without editing the prefs file is to lock the game at 30 FPS. But, but why? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> As for the fun, well, it was fun to list the ways in which this game is fundamentally broken. Um, I would have sent them an email because they did say, okay, we only tested this on the Steam Deck, so let us know if you find any issues. I would have, but I was able to replicate all of the issues on the Steam Deck. So they didn't test it on the Steam Deck. They probably just fired it up on the Steam Deck, saw that it technically launched, and left it at that. Because they didn't... I can tell that they didn't properly test it on the deck because if you open either uh, the left or right overlays on the deck, the game loses focus. And then the only way to get it back into focus so that you can use the actual controls on the Steam Deck to control it is to put your greasy little finger on the screen. It's... Uh, <sighs> It's also glaringly, you know, obvious that the um, Starfighter Renegade, that's the name of the game, <laughs> struggling to remember. But yeah, it was not QA'd properly. And if I had to point out one positive out of all of this is that you, the, the main menu music, I thought it was pretty bumping. That That's it. One chair. All right. So there you go. I don't know. We got any final thoughts for the people before we get out of here? It it, it works on the desktop. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I did, functions. Oh, yes, it technically functions. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I didn't run into it crashing at full screen, but it definitely runs like shit at full screen. Uh, I didn't have a problem at even at 2160p with everything jacked up on a 3060. Uh, no, it, it crushed it again. It crushed it at 99% and it made the fan spin up to like, what is that noise? Cause the fans never spin up. Yeah. The, the frame rate goes anywhere from 300, which is, seems to be the hard cap to 90. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Could, could definitely use some work. Maybe, maybe, maybe Starfighter Red Gate 2 will be a significant improvement. Or All maybe, right. um, version yes. 1.2. Yeah, maybe, maybe they'll release the patch. Probably. Uh, coming up next, do you know how to count in Latin? Because we don't. And um, if you, for fly. some reason, uh, stuck around this long, thank you. That's, uh, that's, that's a rare occurrence these days. No one usually sticks around till the end, but that's fine. We love you all the same. Unless, of course, you're just listening to us, which is I, I <laughs> listen to this shit at work, Pedro. What's your problem, man? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you listen through all of that, there's bound to be something that probably I said. Maybe Jordan said. Ven definitely totally didn't say anything that's worth pointing out at all. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, LinuxGameCast.com hit the contact button. Do let us know what it was that we said that uh, ticked you off, rubbed you the wrong way, ruffled your proverbial feathers. Uh, there's some caveats at the top of that page. You may want to read them. Otherwise, uh, if your message doesn't come through or the spam golem just eats it, that that's on you, buddy. That's on you. <laughs> Look at all these required fields. <laughs> Man, so this, so this one isn't about something we said. It's about something that we wrote. Or didn't write. Or wrote incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we got roted it. Uh, roted so, uh, reaching out, sending some well actuallys over the internet. Alejandro writes about Roman number digits. Because, you know, we close those in, in the credits. And he says, hi. I've been through a couple of rough years, and uh, the time still is scarce. I should migrate to Venus and multiply by negative 116x24, the number of hours per day. Want to come, Pedro? Question mark. So, Pedro, do you plan on traveling to Venus? Uh, when the um, <laughs> cloud station is done, I, I might consider that. <laughs> okay. I, gonna, I, I bought you a cloud station, though. Yeah, we're, we're going we're, we're to hold you to it, baby. Uh, I don't know if this has, uh, if this, and I don't know if this has been referred to previously. It looks like someone doesn't know how to count with the Roman numbers. The irony. Um, <laughs> doesn't now, uh, <laughs> how to count. 
<laughs> Doesn't know how to count. Got it. Uh, the episodes 525, 527, 528, 529, 530, all the way to 536. Probably 535, too. Doesn't have a correct episode Roman number at the beginning of the credits. Three exclamation points. Crazy exclamation point. By the way, it was nice to see Vin Hack of the Sony camera on. Comma, dot slash. Dot, slash. <laughs> dot slash. Dot slash. <laughs> you know, you know, the, the, the current directory, yes. Yes. Thumb up. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> it, it's good to see one of the very, very few uh, Portuguese people write in every now and then. It's good to know that you're still alive, Evandro. We haven't heard from you in a while. Thanks for the heads yeah. up. <laughs> still shows up in the credits. Yeah. So. yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Okay, see, we switched over. I used to use this web zone, um, which was around forever. It was just an open source uh, GitHub project for the Star Wars scroll. Mm-hmm. Then they decided that they were going to monetize it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which they had already monetized it. You know, they're like, hey, this is free. You can punch it in. But if you want us to, like, you know, render it out and record it and send you a video, um, you pay the money or whatever. I'm like, I don't need you to do that. I just punch everything in. And, uh, years and years and years went on and that was fine we didn't have a problem with it then they're like you know what if you're going to do that uh we're going to put this big uh ad right here on the bottom right hand corner so yeah pay us or it goes away we're like well i'll just clone the get oh yeah we haven't updated the get repo for it in a long time either but no. it's like you know what fuck this so i went into davinci resolve i'm like i have a 3d editing program so i went into um fusion mm-hmm. and like the credit roll that you're going to see is all done in 3d it was a laughably complex how it's gotten over the years the reason i'm down because it renders out like a thousand times faster faster if i don't fuck with the cache <laughs> so so what number is it locked on i updated it so this it'll be correct for this week for the next year or so <laughs> okay okay good good to good to know good to know that's gonna we're, that's not confusing at all hey no, no Evandro, I'll tell you that. uh if you want to get that a4500 on the studio wish zone i'll be on that shit each and every week but until then <laughs> that genuinely renders out at like 15 frames per second unless it's been cached and i can just render it out at a normal time but thank you for noticing because you know what you're the second person because the reigning champion mr alert the very first week <laughs> i didn't update him like you're you know yes. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not correct i'm like yes alan i do thank you but good old yeah. malbert hey, oh, man. Oh, you know, real number champion wizard. someone gonna... needs to pay attention i'm glad someone is <laughs> yeah and you can't fault stuff like that because it could be useful information every now and then you, you get a you never want to turn away the well actually because every now and then you'll get like that great thing the grain of thing dun 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 is, he, is, 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 is that our new G- game of grains podcast i, I just know. i i'm thinking about like signing all my letters from now on thumb up beer <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm sure there was an emoji at some point that just did not get translated. i think that was deliberate as a callback to the previous uh <laughs> Smi- smile emoji yeah like wink, the wink, smiley wink, face winky face, <laughs> winky face. <laughs> and yes it was fun of andro to uh say something i put together on slash that that was uh had that retro feel to it and uh even empty it was like sunday like why are you on fucking hack i'm like it shit happens man i mean yeah. but check cashed i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah is that it do you guys get any thoughts on this are no, you gonna I, multiply by negative 116x24 i don't i don't yeah, really no, even know uh, what that's days about. in um, venus are very very quick <laughs> I guess it's got that fast rotation. Well, I mean, Vetus has got that spicy atmosphere too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you just, you just got to get high and then it's not a problem. It, it's mostly sulfuric acid everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. A little sulfuric acid never did nobody no harm. <laughs> On that um, precipitous bombshell. Yeah, we'll go with that. Acid rain, baby. Uh, you can always get a hold of me. If you want to scream in my direction, you want to talk to old Ben Ben, it's real easy to do. I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter because that's still running at Ven on mass.linuxgamecast.com if you're into that federated timeline nonsense. If you're in our Discord, if you are a Twitch sub or one of our beautiful party patrons, uh, just hop in and talk to us because we're just talking shit the other six days of the week. That's Our Discord is the equivalent of a Slack. 
for us. So yeah, if you like yeah. watching, that works too. I'm not on acid, believe it or not. I'm Jordan, though. You can find me on Twitter at the Burning Fool, on Mastodon at Frojo at Gamecast.com, and on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Burning or just Burning Fool. No, no the burning, the, extra burning. <laughs> extra crispy burning fool clown no like dot com dot ru exe dot biz as we witnessed the Mateus in his natural habitat staring yeah at fucking... no I, i'm not entirely sure what the active substance is in cinnamon tea but uh that's what i'm on uh if you'd like to throw your own tea recommendations uh at someone on the internet uh you can go and find your mom and do that probably on facebook but uh yeah if you want to find me go to uh at unaccounted for f-o-u-r oh, on twitter also, or <laughs> also go find your mom you'll be there that's the thing that late at night maybe <laughs> don't go and find your mom <laughs> i just i just like the fact that steve has taken up the mantle you know out of kindness and generosity of putting five dudes into the chat um, in absence of Rohit, but Rohit like made it in time. Drop <laughs> Rohit five dudes. was there today, <laughs> and now yeah. Steve takes offense. At this. He's like, "No, I made this. Fuck you." <laughs> Listen, he just wants those five dudes all to himself. <sighs> Identify everybody. Time for some credits. This is a list of more than five dudes, so get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Is the number of dudes divisible by five? I don't know. Count them out loud, Pedro. We got no thank more divisible. We've been over oh, this. Guess, aren't there. We got to thank our executive producers. They're advisable, producers. not divisible. Yeah, we we got fuck. We got Barb Scott, Scott, Michelle, Tom Gas, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George Pebble, Tomaj Unoid, and our Chicago kicks ass layer. Layer, I don't know, whatever layer. abstraction, super dust out. Layers of fear. Sea monsters bringing it to you like Renault Nub and David, Darkwing System D, DSN Joe, Truggy Veritanu, to Rider X Machina, and of course, uh, I don't know, Nubbin. Ha. <laughs> and uh, Death Knows Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo DeCresney, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, D- Doom 2. Oh. Wad, Stephen B, Dirty Dean, back. Uh, Game Matron, Dodgers, Anthrus yeah, Gaming, no. Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Stein, and Fox Dog. I can't fucking hey, read anymore. Oil of Hope, <laughs> Jim, Fight, Karen Oil of Aki, Hope, uh, and the Sacred Jaloux. It's Jaloux. 12, <laughs> Biatko, D Spec, Replay Gamer, Mark. Carl, These fuckers. Mike, Pablo, Arthurin, Zin, Aldeus, Noctilus, <laughs> Jonalus, Eshoptilus, Gamatronus, and Unoidus. Ah, yes. Alex needs to be updated. <laughs> Uh, where did we go? Uh, boop. All right. Check it out, ladies. You know, if we had any four planning in that, I could um, maliciously speed and slow down certain parts. Uh, you should have just changed the Roman numeral to like three. I was going <laughs> to listen. I couldn't find a ham emoji. Let's be honest. <laughs> and it was too much. Just start putting emojis in the middle of the Roman numeral. <laughs> just, no, just like include letters from other languages. Too much work. This is just a fucking gimbal in there. Why not? <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. That'd fire everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>